Hi, I'm Gabe Josephs and welcome to my how-to videos on the Acadia heat pump system. Okay, today we are going to go over testing the uh, primary one and primary two contactor. You can see we've got the open GE contactors here and we're going to go ahead and look for resistance across the L2, T2 side. This is what we've been finding with, uh, with these Acadia heat pumps and between that and the dual potential relays we're recommending that people uh, swap this setup out to a UMSR50. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to push in this contact. Okay, my meter is set up with, with leads on the uh, L2, T2 side okay and you can see this is just bouncing all over the place you can see that this contact is still pushed in and we're just going all over the place here on resistance this is exactly what we're finding now I will tell you right now that this system was removed uh, because it had shorted the compressor okay so we already have resistance because I did not disconnect the wires so I'm sure that we're showing resistance going through the motor okay in any event when we push in the contactor again with our leads on the L1 T1 side of the contactor you can see exactly what we should have which is zero or really darn close to zero ohms resistance so this is exactly what we are finding uh, time and time again with these these Acadia heat pumps is is, uh, is the right side going open or showing high resistance so we're gonna check the uh, primary one contactor now so we're on the L2 T2 side okay and again we're all over the place that says 1.2 and there's a K ohm so we are just all over the place on the right side of the uh, primary one contactor here okay so we're gonna go ahead and get on the left side now and again I never disconnected the wires so we're already showing resistance because it's still hooked up to the motor and when we push in the contactor again we're showing zero ohms resistance this is precisely what we want to see okay so be safe and uh, make sure the power is off before you get started here um, and this was this was a real treat today because we got to show you exactly what the contactors look like uh, coming out of a dead Acadia unit that had a failed compressor all right be safe and uh, take care